Hey, what's happening, everybody? It is, I don't have a watch in front of me, but I bet you it's about one o'clock. It's gotta be 12.45 or one o'clock in the uh, afternoon. And I wanted to check in because I did a video on some headphones that normally would have gone live yesterday, but uh, the link wasn't working the link said currently unavailable so i got with mike i want to make sure that i'm not uh, sending you guys to a nice pair of headphones with a discount code and nothing's available and his wife is having a it just had a daughter so we're gonna kind of put that on hold until all that stuff gets worked out Brittany took off yesterday kind of sad i had uh jen and jen come up for just the night she fed her horses got everything all set brought her dog came hung out you know busted open a bottle of wine got to meet Brittany. they got to talk for a long time i thought that was really cool we didn't plan it that way but turned out Brittany had to leave the next day she's got to go back down to florida and kind of deal with the next phase the next phase of she's not going to probably be with the guy that she's been married to for i think they've been together for eight or ten years and have a two-year-old and so it just came up that she had to go. And so I'm kind of sad about that. The bus is going to be moving. So there's progress. You see Liz's uh, shuttle bus in the background. My plan is to probably ride the dirt bike over there. The, the Harley's still in pieces and scope it all out and everything. And then slowly uh, start packing up the bus. Usually when you stay someplace for a long period of time, it takes a long period of time to pack because you just get more stuff out. I got my chop saw off the wall in the trailer and was using it for something and so that's something i got to put away i'm probably going to be fixing my generator take it all apart while i'm here and see why it sees that honda generator but i got the other one working looks like uh, steve might have left me a package so this is probably something to do with the harley i think all the parts on the harley are in but I just slept till almost noon and I'm like kind of mad at myself for it because I don't like to be the guy that, you know, by the time you get up, get your breakfast, get around, it's one o'clock, one thirty. So I set my alarm on my phone to start waking me up at one thirty in the afternoon. So like we got some trash over here. Might've been from Brittany. I'll pick up. I don't know what's going on with that, but so I'm going to see if I can get the bike fixed today if all the parts are in for it. And probably I want to work on the generator today while I've got a table and everything out and stuff just to find out why it seized and get it back moving. I did a little bit of searching online and it looks like the amount of work required to, uh, here, looks like the amount of work required to get it, take it apart to find out why it seized is about the same amount of work required to put a new rope on it so if i'm doing all that stuff maybe i'll put another rope on it i don't know if i take it apart today maybe i won't but see look at this mess it's not a big mess i'm gonna try to take this uh awning with me when i go the deal is i'm moving over to the new property and it's probably going to be within about a week or so i'll be over there take Liz's bus and then see if there's some of you guys in the area that may want to pitch in and let's just jam on that thing and, uh, and get it busted out. I think if a bunch of people get on it, according to how it went when we did the one for Tamara, we could probably get that whole thing built in like a month. I still need to order the solar panels for it and figure out what we're going to do. I ordered the solar controller, the Victron solar controller from Battleborn, but, uh, I want to make sure we got the solar. We're, we're sitting on about 1400 bucks. But Steve, being the great guy that he really is, is uh, willing to donate some lumber that he's cut on the property that's been drying out that we can maybe use on the floor, maybe use for countertops and things like that. Basically, I just wanted to check in with you, man. I hope you guys are doing good. It's an overcast day, but otherwise life is, is uh, going pretty good over here on this end. I'm just going to... Uh, get up and kind of join the rest of the world and get away from the Rip Van Winkle side of life that I kind of slipped into. And uh, I'll film getting this thing ready, getting it going and uh, getting it over to the new spot. Pick out the new spot. I think we got to put some hay down. He raked it and everything's all ready. But uh, 
And then he's got the excavator coming, and I'm not sure the date on that, but I do believe it's soon, and we'll start excavating, and we'll show you a bunch of that stuff too. Again, get it ready to see how many rigs we can fit on it for a van build, see what's going on in the news with people getting together, and uh, suss all that stuff up. But I just wanted to quickly check in with you and say hello since I didn't get that, uh, since the headphones video's on, uh, on uh, hold for the moment. Didn't want it to be too long before I posted something. That's what I got going on. Hopefully you're uh, having a good summer and things are going well for you. Me, I got no complaints. Uh, really enjoying hanging out with Jen and uh, my health is on point. Went to the gym the other day, got that going. So uh, life is good. Hopefully it is for you too. See ya.